Hey everybody, Mr. Andrew Zarr here. This is my peak oil grieving process video. Now for me, it took about four months to go through the five stages of peak oil grieving. Everyone goes at their own pace. I suggest that you inform yourself, research, read books, do whatever you need to do to learn about peak oil as you're going through the five stages of grieving. The first stage, denial. For me, I told myself, ah, oh, there's plenty of oil. You know, oil companies are hiding it. There's really a lot left. There's conspiracies or whatever. What got me through that denial phase was reading a dozen books on the subject. Next was anger. I was angry that after 2006, when we peaked in conventional oil production, that the media really didn't talk about it in the subsequent years when it became obvious. I mean, that was a major event in civilization. Also, I had just previously purchased a gas guzzling SUV, which I decided to keep and use for motivational purposes later to make change. So I did keep that SUV. Next was bargaining. I believe that, you know, oh, the lawmakers will make the right decisions to wean our economy off of oil or that our economy could actually continue to grow with less cheap oil being inputted into it, which of course isn't true. That led to the depression stage, which wasn't too bad for me because I am an optimist. Uh, I maybe didn't sleep well for a few nights or weeks during that phase, but it was rather short. The final stage, acceptance. Okay, I had a new attitude that, you know, life was going to be different, but much better. I was going to make changes to put my family in a better position in the future by lessening our addiction to oil. So that was my Pico grieving process. Why don't you tell me about how yours went? Like, comment, subscribe to my channel, and go to MrAndrewZar.com. Thank you.